Oh, whoa, 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 back on up. Hey, this is top secret in here. If you want to see a project that, that I can show you, just follow me back here to the shop. <coughs> I think I drew the short straw this week, so it was up to me to, to give a shooting tip or a tough shot or something, and I thought about kind of doing an Annie Oakley special, behind the shoulder, smoke and mirrors, maybe set off some grenades and stuff, but they said it wasn't quite in the budget. So what I want to do is just show you something that I've been working on for the last few months uh, and, and kind of put the word out about what's going on. Now, the sales guys here at Gunworks, they, they basically have to order their rifles just like any customer would. Uh, you know, we tell guys our lead time is like five to six months, and that, that's, that's true for the sales guys too. If I want some guns to sell, I've got to put my order five to six months of, you know, in the future so I can have them on time. Now we ended up with, this last summer, we ended up with some extra components, some extra stocks. Uh, we, ha we had some surplus barrels and then some triggers that we weren't using on our LR1000s. So what we did was I put an order in to build a big batch of, of custom guns that would be ready for hunting season. They're a little different than our LR1000s. Uh, the, the, there's a few features and I'll show you. But this is just a sneak peek of what I've been doing the last couple weeks. All right, here's, here's the 10 or 15 of the, the rifles I've been building. Now what we did was we took, we took these components and we're, we're making a custom rifle that's going to be more of a budget gun. It's going to be a little less expensive than our LR1000. But they're going to shoot really good. They're going to look good. There's a couple things that went into this. Uh, we, had some, we had these extra barrels, like I was saying, and stocks. The thing that we were short on was some actions. We ordered a bunch of Remington actions in, and we tuned them up just a little bit, so uh, so they'll so they'll be a little truer, a little tighter tolerances. And part of that process is uh, we need to face off the front of that action. So to do that, we got a fixture. We'll put it in the lathe, and then we'll come and we'll do a little face cut on the front of that action. What it does is squares it up. That way the barrel and action joint there is nice and true. If it, was, if it wasn't, your barrel would be kicked, kinked off to one side or the other. Come this way. In this machine here, uh, this is where we took those extra barrels. Now it starts out as a blank with, with no flutes, just like this barrel here. All right. We'll throw it in this machine here, a fixture, and we'll flute those barrels. And what that does, we can use a heavier barrel get rid of a little material to cut the weight back down and, and still keep a real stiff barrel. And then we fitted with one of our uh, Gunworks muzzle brakes. So another part of that process, and you'll see that these guns are looking more and more like one of our LR1000s, is this last summer, we ended up getting a, a, quite a few extra McMillan stocks. Now this was a stock that we used on some, some different builds and we just ended up with too many, so we had a surplus. Uh, you can notice it's got our Gunworks colors, and it's got a lot of the features that our, ri our Gunworks rifles have. More of a vertical grip here, little palm swell, kind of a little wider fore end, cheek piece stink, you know, to get a good cheek weld there. So this, this stock is designed for long range shooting, just like our LR1000, uh, and, it, and it's got our nice colors on there. So that's the stock we use. We'll take it back in the mill and we can do our inletting there. Uh, we inlet that specifically for a Remington action with this barrel contour. Now, these, these rifles vary a little bit from our LR1000s. They're a couple grand cheaper, uh, and we can do that because we're using some components that are a little less expensive. We're using a, a, a select match grade barrel from Schillen. We're using a Schillen trigger. We're using a McMillan stock. So we've got all these custom components. We can just, we can just give it to you at a more affordable price. Uh, just because we've got some extra inventory and we want to clear it out of here. Looks like John's working on one right here. What are you doing here, John? I'm just pulling one out that I bed up this morning. Okay. You know, and then I'll... Uh, what, what kind of bed job are we doing? Some pillars? We got a pillar bedded, look, look. and then we bed the lug okay. in, a, in a marine grade epoxy. Looks like we've got some aluminum pillars in here, mm -hmm. and then we're bedding that recoil lug. Yep. All right. How, how long before you get this one finished put together? Oh, I imagine I'll have this one done sometime tomorrow. Okay, so John's getting through these about as fast as he can. Uh, we did 25 of them. 
I think Jeremy and I have about 10 of them sold, so there's about 15 left. Hey, these things are shooting too. Here's some that we shot this morning, one of our guys did. Uh, this one came back in. This is for a customer that I've already sold to. He's got a, a, a sheep tag in Idaho. Called up, needed one right away. It's ready to go. He's going to have this uh, towards the end of the week. Looks like the, the target Ernie shot this morning. This is 200 yards, zero. Looks like it's right on, sub half minute gun. Hey, look guys, these are really close to our LR1000. So you can, you can take a peek at this rifle. Put it up to our LR1000, you've got something that's very similar. It's a Remington action. Uh, this one's a 7 Rem mag. It's got our Gunworks colors, our G7 scope, our custom turrets. These things are ready to roll, and they're going to be ready for you by the end of August, uh, first part of September. So if you're in a bind and you need one for hunting, we've got 15 of them left. So give me a call. We'll get you set up with one. Not much of a shooting tip, not much of a tough shot. But hey, we've got some rifles in stock that you can buy right now. So give me a ring. My name is Mike Davidson or talk to Jeremy Winters and we can help you get set up with one.